this is Mike speaking and today we're going to learn how to use a UI navigation controller combined with a UI table view. As we all know, a UI table view is a very powerful tool for presenting all kinds of data. Most applications uh, on the App Store uses UI table view to present data, so it's a useful thing to learn it. Our new application is going to look like this. There's going to be a UI navigation controller and inside the navigation controller there's going to be a UI table view. The UI table view is going to contain three cells and when we click on a cell there is it's going to lead to another view controller with a single label uh, which will contain some text that we specify earlier on. And when we press the back it's going to lead us back inside the UI table view. So let's quit iPhone simulator for now and we're going to start off by creating a new project and we're going to create a window based application and we're going to name it navigation table view and press save and a new project just appeared and we're going to start off by creating a UI navigation controller instance and we're going to add a sub view of UI navigation controller inside the app delegate. Navigation. Add property. Maintain anatomic. So I don't think I need to explain this, I just uh, creating, uh, created a new object instance and, and added a property issue. And now we're going to synthesize it. Then, oops. Navigation controller. And now we're going to add a view of navigation controller inside the window. And we're going to release it in the dialog. Remember that everything we unlock we need to release or later on. So it's pretty clear. I just created a new object instance. I synthesized it inside here and I added the view of the navigation controller inside here. Because I'm going to show you later on that the navigation controller is going to contain a, some view. And uh, the leading class of our application is going to be the navigation controller so we are going to add the view of navigation controller not the UIV controller that we as we did earlier on now we're going to go inside the no first we're going to create a new file we're going to create our actual UI table view we're going to select UIV controller subclass and we're going to check this with UI table view controller subclass. And we're going to name it table view controller and press save. And we're just Xcode created a new class for us and we're going to add another class for our detail view controller. And uncheck this. Next detail view controller finish so I just created two new classes the first one for our table view controller and the second one for the detail view controller that's going to appear when we uh, tap on the cell to uh, for the detail view controller to pop up and now we're going to play around with the interface builder inside the main window and interface builder just showed up and we're going to drag a navigation controller from the library inside here and we're going to add, click on this little triangle and as we can see this is the view of the of our UI navigation controller now we're going to specify the root view controller of our uh, navigation controller 
we do this by selecting this little guy over here and we're going to press command 1 and we select the nib name over here and the nib name is going to be the table view controller and the class is going to be table view controller so as we can see in the view it's loaded from table view controller so everything should be alright and now we're going to tell Xcode that navigation controller is our navigation controller and we're going to tell Xcode that inside the application delegate there is going to be a UI navigation controller delegate and we press command 2 on the UI navigation controller and we search for the delegate and we drag this to the navigation table view app delegate <coughs> we do this to tell Xcode that uh, it's going to have to uh, look for the um, how to explain this that the delegate of the UI navigation controller is going to be inside the app delegate so there are going to be functions uh, that are used f uh, only for UI navigation controller right? ok so now we save everything and we're going to check if everything is working whoops I'm sorry you need to make sure that simulator is marked over here and iPhone simulator just started up and we have a navigation controller with a UI table view over here so we did everything alright now we're going to play around with the table view controller first of all I'll, I'm going to explain what all these functions over here mean first of all the number of sections in table view a table, a table view consists of sections is divided into sections into some sections and uh, each section contains some uh, cells that we specify earlier on so first of all we're going to uh, we specify how much sections there is going to be inside the table view and we tell how many rows there is going to be in each section 